Hi guys, welcome back to The Sims 4. So, last episode we created me, Leo, and then we created a little house for me to live in, and started meeting people, just sort of started getting myself into the world, all that kind of stuff. Now today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the end goal house um, to live in. It's going to be like super nice. It's going to be more of a modern one. I have like um, a floor plan idea in like on my separate screen. Um, so I can look at that. And so just have a general idea of like what I want to do, all that kind of stuff. It'll be, it's going to be like a pretty nice one. It's going to have like, oh, like a suite um, upstairs for guests. But then it's going to have the rest of the house I'm going to be on the one floor. So it'll be super nice and let's get started. So first of all I'm just going to start building rooms. Okay, do do do. So first I'm going to start with the family room. It's going to be probably right here. Family room, kitchen area. It's going to connect and then they're going to have the pantry and the, pot and the pantry to the kitchen and the half bath downstairs. Like that. And then the living room is going to be like, wait, that's not what I want. It's going to be kind of a L, uh, like a not an owl, but um, like C shaped space. This is the living room and dining room. And then the hallway. The study. Then we're going to get into the master suite. Whoopsie. With a little utility room over here. Okay, so let's build in a couple more walls here just to denote where everything goes. So here's the pantry, here's the half bath. Hallway study. This is your entrance to the master suite. And then the bedroom's going to start there. This is like the little foyer to the master suite. And master. And then, so we're going to have a master bedroom here, and then a master bathroom back here. And this plan technically has a walk-in closet. Um, I'm not going to do that, because I think they're hard to make in The Sims. I'm going to shorten this a little bit, so we can put in the last two bedrooms, which are going to be kind of L-shaped, actually. I'll just do it free with hand. Um... And then there's going to be a bathroom. And it's going to do this. So it's kind of a C or a G shape. And, oh, I did that wrong. Oopsie. It's really hard to do like depth perception in this game, I've noticed. So this is the bathroom that's going to be shared. The full bath that's shared. And then, no I don't want that, I want this. And this, and it's just going to be a cute little hallway. 
and then it's gonna open up like that. Now I think I'm gonna push this a little bit this way, just a little bit, because I don't want the desk areas to be like your the not master bathroom bedrooms to be like enormously huge. But this is gonna be a pretty nice house. Um, one to raise a family in. All of that jazz. So let's. So that's the basis of our house. Now let's build a kitchen. That's what I always like to start with. The kitchen's gonna be right in this area. It's gonna have a little island segment, um, oven. It's gonna have everything that you want in the kitchen. Let's start. So I want this to be a fairly modern house. So we're gonna go for these modern cabinets. And I don't know what I want the color scheme to be yet, so um I'm thinking maybe like a black and white kind of look. Yeah, black and white might be good for modern. Um, I don't know. I'll probably put some music in here or do something just to like fast forward through this building process because there's nothing really much for me to say, so. I play The Sims a lot, so I know like exactly which objects I want to be in this house already. I already know like what objects work best, what looks the nicest, all that kind of stuff. So that's why it's not. I'm not just going through every single item, and picking it out. There's the black one. Okay. I'll be ordering. There's a nice little island. We'll add some stools to that. We'll do some modern. I actually really like the industrial ones. I think they're really nice and have a good look to them. So I'm going to go for those ones. Um, and then, yeah. It's going to be the lead into the bathroom pantry area. Okay, that's not right. Let's see. There you go. So that's the kitchen area. It has what you need. I'm going to stock it with stuff in a second. I'm just going to get the foundation done. But. If 
paper towels right by the sink. Hot rack right by the oven. The problem with cluttering your kitchen is that it like really like deters the amount of counter space you can get. And um, my roommate, whenever I build houses in The Sims, is always like, "We never give them enough counter space," which is always really funny to me. Just because, like, he's such a cook that he, like, wants counter space to be, like, readily available all the time. Which just makes me laugh. Um, he always complains about the kitchens at our job and how they don't have enough counter space or they have too much counter space and they have too many sinks or not enough sinks or whatever. He is always complaining. It's kind of his thing. Let's see. I really like these lights I think they're cute and like give that industrial vibe too I really like that industrial sort of I don't know wall decorations let's go for some piping because like why not There's more pipes I don't. Why am I there they are? Why am I not seeing them? Just because that's gonna give it a cool feel. Okay. Um so that's the kitchen area done. Um let's put a door in here in this little area and we'll just go for a standard arch because it's more of a modern look so we'll just go for a white arch there and i think that will look nice i'm gonna scoot this over a little bit no i'm gonna scoot the other one over piping i like the piping i don't no, what I don't really care what the people think. I like the pipe and I think it looks cool. Um, yeah. Oh, I love building houses in The Sims. It's like one of my favorite things to do. So we're gonna build the family room right over here. Let's go into that this couch is so dumb I don't understand it um or should we go for this one I think we'll go for this one and we'll mix and match the furniture do this one white Sorry about my air conditioner. It like clicks in like every five seconds because it's like trying to cool down the summer air in Minnesota, which is like not gonna happen. So let's make it a gray for this. And actually, what we'll do is we'll do this. Put an end table in. Alright, dining table. Okay, these chalk down ones are like super cool. I like don't understand them, but they're like really cool. That one's kind of cultural appropriation y though, so we'll not go for that one. But we'll go for. That one's like not visible. I want to stick with the black and white theme, but like maybe a splash of color like that would be nice. Then we'll put a fireplace right here. Just 
just because why not have a fireplace? This is like the family room area. The living there's gonna be a living room as well, right over here. So I don't feel concerned about putting a TV in or things like that. But yeah, so that's like a good basis. I'm gonna to clutter it a little bit more. We'll get some lamps here. I really like this lamp. I think it's cute. It's super bright, which is like really handy. And then we'll go for a little lotus lamp candle thing. I don't know. And then we'll do an overhang light of... No, we'll go back to the industrial ones. So that's a nice bright room there. We'll get some art on the walls once I put windows in and we'll put some plants. Let's see if we can filter these items a little bit because that way I can see like what's gonna go with the color scheme and things like that. So we'll put a little flower right there and maybe put this in the corner because that's very modern-esque. I want this. I just like the black and white scheme for um, for modern houses because I think it fits with what you're going for. I'm gonna move these. And this will be like all windows, like this is going to be like very glassy looking. Um, I'll put a link to the house plan that I use in the description below um, when I upload this. And then you'll see like what I was going for, how I altered it, how I, you know, made it a little bit more my own. Okay. I'm sorry, I was stretching, so... Okay, let's move on to the dining room. We'll come back to that stuff when we do like flooring and things like that. Okay, I want this dining table. I realize I don't have move objects on right now, which is kind of a rookie mistake, but I'll put it on, I promise. And we'll just have the saucer light in the dining room, just to keep it nice and bright. That was like the brightest light in the game. I mean, I don't know if that's actually true, but it feels like it. Okay, they're on the same plane. Great. And we'll put down a little rug. What I, what I, I want this. Rug. Let's see. I want a square rug for underneath the... That's small. Not what I want. And I don't want one of these like fancy classical ones. I want a you know modern looking one like that. And then we'll put in a hutch.
and we'll put in a wine cabinet. Because, like, that's what you need in a dining room. And we'll put in my favorite things, if I can find them. Within reach nectar shelf. Just because my sims probably gonna be an alcoholic because they're based off of me. Haha. -ha. Funny joke. I'm not actually an alcoholic, guys. Um and I actually don't drink at all. Um so that's neat. Um Okay, and then yeah, there's gonna be art, there's gonna be a door here. There's going to be, and then I'll do a living area right over here. So let's go back to here. And this one will be a little bit more, not modern-esque. I guess it'll be more traditional. Not like super traditional, but just more traditional than the other one. gonna be a no I'm not gonna use that it's gonna be a little I'm gonna give it a little bit of a mismatch feel because I think that's cute and then we'll put a TV stand Duh. We'll give them a nice curve. Ooh. We'll give them a. No, that's too big. We'll give them a flat screen, though. Like that. Except I don't. Actually, I like the white. And then we'll give them gaming console. We'll still give them a modern-esque um, coffee table like this one, because I think that's nice. Um, some plants, because I like to fill my life with plants. Oh, come on. I wish my life was filled with plants the way that, like, The Sims is filled with plants, because I think that's really cool. And I wish I could keep plants alive. And then we want a nice big rug down here. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I wish it was like one space shorter, but you can't have everything, so that's fine. And that's a nice living area with like a TV and I'll put a bookshelf on we'll put an end table over here. Con we'll put a console right there. And then Yeah, that's what I, I thought that, that couldn't fit. Does this one fit on this? No. Okay. I don't know. Um we'll put some speakers. Right there. And this is, will be the entrance right here. Let's find it. Let's find a door, shall we? That looks nice. 
yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's move on to the study. Or let's actually move on to the bathroom. Well, actually, I've been recording for a pretty long time now, so I think I'm going to stop and then come back to this. And then we will continue this house. So this is what we have so far. We have the nice kitchen. We have the family room. We have the living room and the dining room. And they're not quite done yet, but they're getting there. They're not, they're not there yet, but they will get there. And they'll be very nice. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, take care. Bye-bye.